On today's video, I'm going to show you how to run um, Sega 32X on Batacera Linux. According to this page, you don't need any BIOS files for um, Sega 32X. And these are the accepted formats that you can run. You could run zip file, .7z, that's also a type of zip file. Dot bin, dot smd, dot md, dot 32x. And you put the games into ROMs, 32, Sega 32x. These are the controls for it. And, um, show you where to put the ROMs. Just go to Batacera. Or if you know the IP number, you could type that in as well. I know the IP number of mine. If you have a lot of Batacera units in your home, then you have to probably use the IP address to specify which one. But if you just have one, it's just Batacera. So you just go to ROMs. I think it's Sega32. Here it is. This is where you put all the Sega32 games. And as you can see, all the games that I have are in .zip format. They're all .zip. And it says you could run it in this format. Go to info text these are the extension files you could use you saw the same one on Batacera's web page and despite having a separate folder as Sega 32 when you go to Batacera it's going to be under Sega Genesis or Sega Mega Drive which I will show you next so I'm going to go to Batacera and I'll sh show you how to run the emulator so I'm back on my Batacera so I'm going to play Sega 32X games. It uses the same emulator as the Sega Genesis. So I'm going to track down some 32X games, let's see. That's a 32X game. It states it in the title. It doesn't have its own category, unfortunately. So if you put a lot of Sega Genesis games, then you're going to have to look for 32X, like I'm doing right here. I should have made a list of 32X games so I could just find them. So 32X or Sega 32X was kind of like an add-on for um, for the Sega Genesis to turn it into a 32-bit video game console. It was never successful. Because uh, the Sega Saturn came out the very next year. It was one of those oddball things. It never, never caught on. Okay, let's try Pitfall. That's a 32x game. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let me get out of here. Let's 
play another one. See if I could track down more. There's primal range. I wish they had a separate category for Sega 32X instead of them having just all the games put into the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive category. So no BIOS files are required for this. All you really have to do is just uh, get the ROMs and put them into the right directory. On Batacera, let's try this. See how Virtual Fighter looks like on 32X. Is it as good as the Sega Saturns? Let me go into uh, retro art menu. It's a uh, hot button B. Let's go here. System. You could change the region here. I think this is a US game. If some games don't work, you could change region to try to get it to work. What's master system? Okay, this is the emulator. Type auto would be good. You could do save states here. So let the start a slot and save. And let me go back and load. This does actually have polygonal graphics for 32, Sega 32X. So let me get out of here. Troopers, let's try that. You could press select to change emulator settings. You could change the emulator. I think for this one, it's Pico Drive. Let's try that. 
I don't know if this is a 32x game. No, it's not. It's a Genesis game. You can see that in the overlay. 16-bit. Let me get out of here. We're running 32x games, not... Okay, let's try this. I think I have it selected on Pico Drive. Let's see. No. Doesn't want to run it. See if that works. Okay, it does work. So let me get out of here. I think they had Afterburner 32X. That's the one. This is a 32x game. Doesn't look very much different compared to a Mega Driver Genesis. Is this a Flintstones version of uh, racing or something? <laughs> Looks like an interesting game. Okay, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.